not the best lighting, but I need to clarify that the reason I do not see my children is because my ex-husband doesn't let me. And he said he wants my visits to be supervised, which is fine. That's his choice, apparently. I think it's horrible, but I don't have a say. He has chosen he wants it to be supervised, and my lawyer did not object for some reason. But he keeps delaying signing the divorce decree, which was finished in January. He asked the court, we just went to court today, he said he wanted to change the stipulation that said I got weekly visit phone calls, not visits, weekly phone calls. He wanted to revoke those. The judge today said no, um, that I still get to keep my phone calls. And if Cody has a problem with something that I've said, that he can bring that to court specifically and say what it is that he doesn't like. Um, so now that we've gone to court again, they should be signing the divorce decree. We already signed it on my side back in January because we already agreed to it in court and we signed it. And they have not signed it because he wanted to change the stipulation on phone calls. That's why I haven't seen my kids because he did not sign the divorce decree. He didn't sign it. He changed his mind after we agreed in court. After he was like, okay, granted, boom, got the gavel, granted the divorce. All we had to do was sign the paper. And then when we sign the paper, I can take the divorce decree to the supervision people and say, okay, I'd like to schedule visits with my kids. But I couldn't do that because he would not sign the paper because he wanted to take away my phone calls, period. The person who has restricted my visitation is my ex-husband. And furthermore, at any point in time, he could drop the kids off. He could say, hey, meet me at McDonald's. Hey, let's go to a play place and you can see the kids. At any point in time, no one on the planet Earth restricted me from seeing my kids. No one on planet Earth wanted it to be supervised except for Cody Matthew Adams, period. Let's be clear. Now that we've gone back to court and the judge said, no, you're not restricting her phone calls. Now he has nothing else that he can object to. Now he needs to sign the damn paper. And as soon as he signs that paper, I'm going to take the paper to the court visitation and say, please schedule a visit with my children. And I'm going to pay them $70 an hour to see my children one hour a week. In addition to the phone call. That's what I'm going to do. And that is all required by Cody Adams period. No one else has ever suggested it. No one else has said it. Not my therapist, not my psychologist, not any professional, no doctors, no, no one, no one has suggested any of that except Cody Adams. And my lawyer's like, well, we don't have much leverage. Okay. Period. Crappy lawyer, crappy ex-husband, period. Nothing else. Let's be clear. Who is the one restricting my visitation? It is Cody Adams, period. Let me say it again, in case there's some way I haven't said it. The reason I have not seen my children is because Cody Adams has not signed the divorce decree since January 16th, when we were agreed upon in court to have one phone call a week and one visit a week. He let me have the phone calls. He did not let me have the visits. And then he went back to court in April, three months later, and said, eh, I don't want her to have phone calls. I don't like what she says in the phone calls. Take them away. And the judge said, no. Huh. 